Right now, 41% of trans people have attempted suicide. For LGBTQ plus people in general, young adults are over five times more likely than their non-LGBT peers to report suicidal ideation. In Trans Lifeline's first year, they answered more than 8,500 calls. The number of calls Trans Lifeline got after the North Carolina bathroom bills. A busy day for them used to be around 100 calls a day. However, since House Bill 2 was passed, their call volume has soared. The busiest day we've had so far was 357 incoming calls. So on average, it's about doubled from what it was. Doubled. And that's just the T of LGBTQ. And these LGBTQ plus people are not at risk or suicidal for no reason. They suffer from bullying, persecution, high anxiety, homelessness, and from the threat of dying. We tell them it gets better. To you, I say it gets better. It gets better. It will get better. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. It will. We tell them there is an end and that the goal is to come out and be yourself. You've got to make sure to reach out to people you trust. Whether it's your parents, your teachers, folks that you know care about you just the way you are. There's always hope and there is always help. No matter if you are gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender. But as it stands, for many, for most, all people can do is hold on. It's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay This issue is temporary, so attempt to wait for one more day There's nothing wrong with you, it's them They're just backwards, you're in the future, they're in the past And they would abuse you if they knew the facts about it It's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay This issue is temporary, so attempt to wait until you're s Trans Lifeline and Trevor Project's call rates are proof that holding on doesn't work. What is a person to do when they're closeted or they're somewhere dangerous? When they pass so well, they are forced back into the closet by assumptions other people make. When they are self, but still need resources. What if they slip up? The stress of being out in a dangerous environment, the anxiety of not knowing the next step, and the pressure of not knowing whether you'll be accepted is crushing. As the LGBT environment is right now, it's like LGBT resources and organizations have set up a lighthouse on the shore and they rescue those who have washed up on the beaches. But we are doing too little for those struggling to swim to shore in a dark and vast empty space. RescueNet, resources empowering the stealth, closeted, questioning, and underserved community seeks to be the first lifeboat. RescueNet seeks to bring the out community resources of our partner organizations to the online invisible LGBTQ plus community. Those who don't know what they need to know to come out or to develop a proper plan. But we can't do all of this without your help without the out community's help. We need volunteers to put together the weekly digests. We need bloggers and vloggers to put together that content and get the message across. We need support group facilitators to talk and produce a community. And we need strong community leaders to manage our teams in order to make all of these processes come true as quickly as possible. Are you willing to volunteer and rescue someone before they become at risk and before they wash up on that proverbial beach.